My first impression was when I watched Neverland and I noticed that he had a really, he had a baby face, but at the same time a really muscular body. How do you think others would respond to that question? I, I, feel, I feel like most people, um, from the first minute they see who are attracted to him for his body, like that's the first thing you notice. Um, and that's okay, like that's something he's worked really hard for and something he should be proud of and it should be appreciated. But um, I feel like more people, once they've noticed that, should also take the time to learn more about his personality because he's more than just his body and um, there's more to him than just that. I think that Hoon is a really sincere person. Um, but the reason that some people don't see him as genuine is because uh, a lot of his personality traits are things that um, are usually seen as like opposite, they're at like opposite ends of a spectrum. Like, um, So they're opposing to each other. Yeah, like they're opposing and people think that he can't be both those things at once. Like um, they think, oh, like he can't be serious a serious person and be a silly person at the same time so they think well I saw him um, I see him as serious in this place and I see him as silly in this place so it must not be genuine but in fact he has so many different personality traits that um, they can coexist when it comes to differently in these situations. I feel that people want to fit the current mood of the situation. So, for example, you wouldn't act the same way in a job interview as you would when you're hanging out with friends. So in Boone's case, I feel that he's able to balance being professional and having fun at the same time. Um, I also think it's because he has an image to keep. Like, his image on screen is supposed to be very manly but also very cute but it kind of com conflicts with how he portrays himself off screen when they're doing reality shows and stuff like we'll never most of us will probably never know how his personality is actually like but based on like the way he acts it's kind of it shows us that everyone not everyone can have um, the same it's not the same personality all the time ability to know when to be mature and when to be childish is admirable to me because as we often grow up and our lives change we get caught up in so many responsibilities that we often forget about the little things in life that would make us happy so then by, like, by Hoon showing how he can still have fun and be dorky in front of the screen it knows when to be supportive at the same time I think it shows that it's very beneficial to have a balance between uh, responsibility and having an inner child within you. And I think that's a very interesting trait about him that not a lot of people may see. <laughs> So when I think about Suhan and Kevin's vocals, Suhan is known for his strong, powerful vocals, while Kevin is known for soft, more gentle vocals. And to me, I think that Hulan is the balance between those two. It's kind of like the middle ground for you kiss. Um, I'm not saying this just because I'm biased. Um, he has like, he's very good at showing emotion when he sings. Like when he sings, it's not just his voice that portrays his personality and how he feels, but it's also how like he, he makes eye contact with people. And there's like a glint in his eyes when he sings. And you listen to Hulan, you're not just listening to 
feel the emotion, feel the emotions that he's trying to convey. And to me, I think that's a great quality of the singer when you're able to feel the same emotions that they're feeling as well. So when it comes to being resilient, I think, who, through his career, he's shown that he, he can bounce back from different obstacles. So his original goal wasn't actually to become a singer. He wanted to be involved in sports. So when he suffered an injury in Taekwondo, it kind of stopped him for a little while. But then he found out that he had a talent in singing. So then he continue to pursue that dream and look where he is now. And seeing where he is now, I noticed that he's actually fulfilling multiple dreams at once. For example, his dream of singing in Newkins, his dream of sports in shows like Dream Team, and his passion for acting through different musicals and dramas. So then I think that's a very remarkable quality about him to be able to bounce back from these obstacles and continue to follow his dreams. And also be like really flexible with how he pursues his dreams right. and, the, and the way he pursues it. Okay. Oh